Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to show you this TV I got for two dollars. It's an Emerson model TC 1375A from February 1998. It has a closed caption decoder built in, but since there's no source of analog TV anymore, it is of no use. This TV only has a coax input, which makes it even more useless nowadays. Over the air TV moved uh, digital well over a decade ago, and even the cable TV in my area moved to digital a couple years ago. So you may be asking now what? What do you use this TV for? Um, so one common use is to pick it up for uh, retro game consoles, but using the coax input gives a uh, low quality signal, and the game just doesn't look as good as if you were using composite. If you were dedicated enough, there's probably a way to modify it to get a composite, but I'm not willing to do that. And then uh, there's also light gun games, old light gun games you have to use uh, a CRT to be able to play them. So, and I'm just going to show you the difference between composite and RF. You can see uh, there, <coughs> composite, it's, it's a straight line. On RF here, the colors are all mixed up. And then here it shows even more of a difference. You can see the colors aren't really lined up. <clears throat> Another common use is for amateur television where amateur radio operators will talk to each other through TV. Kind of like Skype or Zoom, but even those people are moving to digital television. You might have noticed that this TV is on and showing some slides. How is it working? <clears throat> the answer is a lot of adapters. The first adapter in the chain is an RF modulator. It turns the composite signal into an RF signal that this TV can receive. The second adapter is an HDMI to composite adapter. <clears throat> then I could hook up the HDMI to my computer, but I have it hooked up to a Raspberry Pi. It's a small $35 computer that's meant for kids to learn programming on. I have it streaming a video feed from my computer. I can show you how that works in another video. Here's another example of what you could do with one of these old TVs. I've got it hooked up to a digital TV tuner, and uh, you can watch it, and you can actually watch TV on it. I've got it hooked up to an antenna. So. Works like a normal TV, you can just flip through the channels. This is over the air TV. This is in my basement, so I'm not getting very good reception, but it's surprising how many channels I can get down here. These old TVs aren't perfect. You can see the lines on the screen are a little wobbly. But if you know what you were doing, you could fix that. The TV is low resolution, and the colors are a little off. But these TVs are semi-useful in 2020, and they aren't complete trash. Here are some more examples. You could have it show you the weather. Or you could have it show some security footage. Here I made a website where a uh, webcam takes a picture every two minutes. Or for the more nerdy, you could have it show a live ISS feed. That's what I have going on here. Right now, I don't know what it's flying over, but you can see it flying over. <laughs> 